Okay, so in this video, we are going to look at this dog with all these hair detail on the edges. Um, these hair make it very difficult for people to select objects and subjects like these. All these hair details. Uh, what we are trying to achieve is this. Like I'm going to zoom in here so that you can see. I managed to do a pretty good job over here. So I'll teach you guys how to do exactly this so that you guys can do it too. So control zero. I'll close this out and focus on this. So we'll start by selecting a quick selection tool. Increase the diameter in my case. You want to select the dog from the inside. Now when you do this, take care as to not let the selection boundaries outside the boundaries of the dog. What do I mean by this is for example, I can paint here. I want my selection boundaries to be inside the dog. So this area is bad. I'm going to zoom in a little bit. This area is bad because as you can see, a little bit of background starts to show up here. So I'll press Alt and deselect this this area in particular and this we can reel that in later so making sure that the selection is perfect perfectly inside the dog like over here we don't need this so Control zero. I think uh, this is quite nice. Uh, uh, the selection is inside the dog and it's not leaking out. So go ahead and uh, press the add lay mask button to separate the dog from the background. Uh, just so that I feel comfortable, I feel visually comfortable. I'm going to insert a layer below this. So press and hold control and click the new layer button. It will add a layer below your current layer. Is this? I'm going to rename this as background and as long as I'm here I'm going to rename this layer dog select the background layer take your paint bucket tool now you might see your gradient over here in that case long press it and select paint bucket tool press D on your keyboard so that your foreground color is black and with your background layer selected press Immediately we see that we have managed to have a little leak. So take your brush tool. Your foreground color is black. Select the dog layer mask. And paint over it. Control zero. Now make sure that the layer mask is selected and not the layer itself. So layer mask. Go to select. Refine mask. Edge detection, turn on the smart radius and increase the radius value to let's say 20. Now immediately you'll see that we have some fine hair detail on the edge right here. So what smart radius does is, uh, I'll click the show radius to show you what it does. It has increased the radius from the selection boundaries. And Photoshop is now calculating to see whether part of this radius outline belongs to the dog or to the background. That's why it was important in the first place that we didn't let our original selection go outside the dog. We can increase the radius even further as we can see. And let's see how adventurous we can be. So it doesn't change much. It's not going to change much. So I'll recommend the value somewhere around 25 and then uncheck the show radius box now when you bring your cursor inside when you bring your mouse inside you'll see you have a paintbrush kind of thing Enlarge a little bit by pressing the right bracket key and paint over the edges paint the dog 
paint the remaining part of the dog. So you are increasing your radius, you are painting in radius, you are telling Photoshop to look at these portions too. So you can see that Photoshop did a good enough job, we can, uh, we can get rid of this garbage later. So let's uh, first repeat the same procedure, if, if you press the Z key to zoom in, uh, you can select the brush again from here. Then continue painting, make sure you get everything, every little strand of hair. Now we have good news and bad news. Good news is we have got a, we've got a lot of good details like here. These first are selected quite naturally. And the bad news is we have a lot of garbage. So there's a way that we can remove this garbage which we don't which we don't want. And that will be to select the brush again. I'm gonna press Ctrl zero and uh, zoom in here. I have to select the brush again because the zoom shortcut is not revertible. Now I'm gonna reduce the size of my cursor and press Alt and paint over the areas that I don't want, like this garbage. Make sure not to paint over any of the hair, just the garbage. So when you are Pressing Alt and painting over the garbage, you are telling Photoshop to not to extend its radius so much. You are going to see immediate results and astounding results with Photoshop's awesome computational powers. Uh, I am going to zoom in even further and remove this garbage. Um, I have to select my brush again, reduce the size, press Alt and get rid of all this goop all this goo we don't want it and the good thing is we don't have to do we don't have to do this for the entire thing so again we have to remove a little garbage from here also uh, by the way all this is extremely translucent and it really depends on how bad do you want it or how professional you want your result to be so even if I leave this information on for now, it won't make much of a difference. Uh, but if you want to be thorough and uh, you want to be and you want to work like a real professional, I'll recommend to take paints and you know make awesome results. Uh, control zero. I'm satisfied with this result. So I'll go ahead and press OK. As you can see this has improved a lot. We can do a little work maybe over here. Yeah, we can definitely do a little work over here, but I'll leave that to you guys. So for the purpose of this tutorial, uh, told you look at the amazing details we have. All the loose strands of hair we are covering each one of them. And this murky detail is still visible near the dog's ear and everything but uh, part, this is partly because we are looking at the dog on a black background so if you want to have your subject on a tightly colored background or a solid colored background you would need to do more work along these areas uh, if not you can just insert this texture Go ahead and duplicate it. Close this up. And we take the dog layer, press Ctrl T, reduce it. 
Now another way in which you can make your cut subjects more realistic is that you add a drop shadow. So go to FX and drop shadow. You can see that the shadow is coming along nicely but these little but it's too detailed so each of the little hairs which are sticking out are also getting shadowed. To get rid of that you can increase the size of your shadows. It will make it spread out evenly and more which will look much better and you can just drag to adjust the shadow you can reduce the opacity if you want like so press ok for additional effect you can uh, zoom in to the edges where they seem unforgivably hard take your blur tool and blur it out So that they're not as sharp anymore but then there are areas like these where the sharp details look good uh, except for this this little region so you'll have to make uh, design calls like these whether to blur them out or to let them stand sharp you know you can add a number of uh, corrective adjustment layers like uh, for curves for example here I am uh, pulling the shadows down so that the image gets darker and then pushing the highlights up so that we end up with more contrast. So I push the highlights up and pull the shadows down giving, uh, giving the image an overall contrast. I'll push that in. It's too much contrast for me. I'll just go ahead and reduce the opacity of our new adjustment layer. So little color corrections like these you can go on applying all throughout the composition and uh, end up with the result which you like best. So this is how you select a difficult and extremely difficult subject here inside Photoshop.